Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Local Business Spotlight Conversations with Cary Business Owners. My name is Diana Lockie, and I'm a real estate agent here in Cary and Apex area. And today, my special guest is Tom Hutchison. He's the owner of Cary School of Creative Arts here in Cary. Uh, they're located on 111 James Jackson Avenue. And Tom, welcome. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for inviting me on. Thank you for having us here uh, in this place. You have a very cool music shop and uh, music school here. I see on the walls, I, I see all these uh, record uh, covers on the walls, all these guitars, and you always have fun music playing here for the parents. Uh, you know, we have fun uh, <coughs> hanging out here while we wait for the kids to do their lessons. We, we try, we try not to be boring here. So. Yeah, definitely not boring. So, yeah, so tell us about your business and uh, what kind of services do you offer here at the school? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've been around uh, Cary about 20 years, give or take, and um, primarily we do uh, music lessons, private classes for piano, guitar, bass, voice, violin, all the brass, all the woodwinds. Uh, so just about every instrument you can imagine. And, um, and then we do visual arts as well. So we do like uh, illustration and um, uh, anime classes and a lot of foundation art classes. Um, I think the one really cool thing is we try to give kids a, a real world um, kind of use for their talents. Um, so we do like a lot of rock band camps over the summer. We get kids on stage performing. So um, so kids who play piano aren't just playing piano at home. They're actually able to play in a rock band with their friends and learn how to compose music and uh, learn how to record. And uh, it's really terrific. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it, it is fun. It's amazing to me how you get this group of kids and there's some of them that never played any instrument at all. And then within a few days they can play, they sing, they record, and you guys put out a great concert for parents on Friday. It's just in a few days. It's, it's, it's amazing what they, uh, what they can do when they're focused, absolutely. So yeah. um, it's a lot of fun. And um, with our visual arts program too, we have uh, like our illustration program actually gets kids work published. Um, you know, in local magazines and online things, and uh, so we teach kids. You know that there's there's a lot of really terrific careers in visual arts and music um, that might not just be um, you know being in a band, but all the behind the scenes things, the production. Um, there's music in almost everything that you hear, so uh, somebody's creating that music. So we want those opportunities to be to be real world for our kids. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So Tom, wh where are you originally from? Um, so originally from Western New York, um, just between Buffalo and Niagara Falls, and uh, you could actually see Canada from, from my parents' house pretty much, right across the river. So it's a really beautiful area to be um, to be from. Um, very glad to be here, though. Yeah. A little, little less snow during the winter. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot warmer here. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, this is a great area, Cary and Apex, um, the, all the triangle. It's growing all the time, but we're also full of all these activities and things that you know for families and things to do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just um, you know, our kids grew up here, and just the uh, the amount of things they were able to do here was just um, you know very blessed. By yeah. That, so yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, so, what made you choose this profession? Um. You know, I don't. I don't know that I chose it as much as it sort of chose me. Um, yeah. When I was a kid, uh, I just, I, you know, I loved uh, coming home from school and, and playing the keyboard or playing ice hockey. Those were my two things, and uh, I was pretty sure I was going to do one of those. Um, yeah. that, and that it happened is, is pretty fun. Um, but uh, you know, I, I played in a band for for a long time, and um, I was very very lucky to have you know had all those experiences as a musician. And uh, but I think we got kind of got to a point where um, we we're starting to get a little bit older, about thirty then. And me and my wife decided that you know maybe uh, you know I don't want to be fifty and be somebody who didn't make it in the rock and roll world. So we uh, we moved down here and um, um, you know pretty much started the school. Um, and uh, I, I didn't actually mean to start it. I was just teaching kind of privately, and that that end of it just sort of exploded. Mm -hmm. um, and then just over the years, we um, just met so many incredible uh, other musicians um, who are just great teachers and um, just really terrific people. And, um, and the kids that we've worked with, um, it's just there's so many stories that, um, you know, to be part of it is just, again, just such a blessing. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, one of our, our parents from probably 15 years ago just called, and uh, their daughter, he sent me the, the link on Spotify. She just put out her first album in Nashville. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they, you know, they were good family friends for a while when, when, they, when the kids were taking classes with us. And, uh, but it's just lots of stories like that. You get to, and to be a part of that is, is really incredible. So, yeah. yeah. It's nice to know that you might have been the spark yeah, you know, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's why I just tell these kids, you know, don't forget me when you get rich and famous. So yeah, I, that's I, right. <laughs> so, yeah, so what drives you to do what you do? What motivates you? Well, I, I think it's exactly that. Um, you, you know, it's like um, working with the families and the kids, um, you just become really, uh, you know, s sort of like an extended part of their families. Um, and I think they really appreciate the, um, uh, that sort of, gift that they have that you help to bring out and again our, our teachers that are here um, are just incredible people and um, you know the way they all interact you know differently in their in their own ways with the kids and the families um, and our adult students too um, you know it's such a such an amazing opportunity because you know a lot of times um, you know music is primarily the reason we're here but you know a lot of times there's there's little things that happen in their lives or your life that you know become part of that lesson and that little um, you know dynamic that you have with with families and kids and you really get to um, you know to, to know a lot about them and and how they tick and I think that helps you as a teacher to know how to how to bring out the best in them too so yeah 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 I notice um, yeah uh, your teachers how to interact with the children like like you said um, it's um, it's amazing to me that he knows how to make the child comfortable to be on stage because it's not just singing and performing. Being on stage is very important for life, you know, for work, for business, for anything, for uh, school. Yeah, know? absolutely. Just the, um, I think the confidence that it can provide um, and that it certainly gave me, um, you know, I, I think that translates over into a lot of different areas. So. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you know, it, it's amazing to see that with, with kids as they start to, you know, perform, you know, for you in a, in a classroom or on stage, just, just to see yeah. that, that vibrancy come out is incredible, so. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. So what are your goals for the next year? Um, so we have two studios, one in Cary and one in Clayton. Uh, they're about 30 minutes apart. And um, our, our biggest uh, focus right now is at the Clayton studio, which is, um, it's like a 4,000 square foot um, building on Main Street in Clayton. And uh, we're doing a whole live performance venue there. Um, so um, we've been spending the last couple of years getting ready for that, just with like, uh, you know, installing huge PA systems and all wireless. So we're uh, we're going to be doing really um, kind of like high end um, like events there, event like a music yeah. venue. Um, and it started out as a stage performance stage for our kids there, um, and we we do our concerts there and our recitals there. Um, but now it's turning into a little more of a full-fledged um, music venue, so that's super exciting for us. And uh, so our kids will have a really nice stage to be uh, to be on there too. So yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. So what else do you do besides work? Um, well, well, twenty-four-seven of work is yeah. is a lot. So that, that <laughs> takes up a lot of it. Um, I understand that. Being yeah. a business owner, yeah, it, it takes. Yeah, there's some little perks to it, but. Uh, but it, you know, it never ends as far as that goes. But um, again, I'm, I'm not complaining though. So, um, but my uh, my wife is a um, is a fitness coach and a personal trainer sh and at our uh, our CrossFit Clayton, and um, so a lot of our free time is spent me trying to keep up with with her. So uh, yeah. Yeah, so we do a lot <laughs> of fitness stuff. Um, when my when my boys were younger, they both played ice hockey for a lot of years. So um, we spent a lot of time uh, in ice rinks and, and coaching hockey. And uh, now my daughter is is also a pretty good um, uh, gymnast, so she's we're following her her cheerleading yeah. career. So yeah, she's uh, she's keeping us busy now too. So oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. so um, pretty much you know fitness kind of things and and sports and and music are pretty much the whole yeah the whole thing for us. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So um, tell us, is there anything going on um, that your customers um, might want to know? Uh, well, we always offer like free trial classes for our new families, and that's for anything for um, for piano, voice, guitar, and um, usually in that trial class, uh, most kids come out of that really excited and really loving that. Um, we're doing a um, 
a half price off for all new families um, for the first month of classes. So that way it kind of gives them a little bit of um, time to just to see if they enjoy it and uh, if they want to continue. So it's, and that, that just goes on for the, um, until December, so yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's great, yeah. And no, so we're, we're about to wrap up, um, but before we do that, um, can you tell us what is the best way for your customers to reach you? Um, our website is the, is the easiest. Um, it's csoca.com, like Cary School of Creative Arts.com. Um, or do uh, just give us a call at 919 279 3581 and we can answer all your any questions that you have. Um, you know, there's a lot of different questions if you're just beginning versus families that have been, you know, maybe playing music for six or seven years and are looking for, um, you know, some different recording options or things like that. So, um, uh, yeah, if you give us a call, we can definitely help you out. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, I really appreciate that. It was fun talking to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Diana. Yeah. And uh, thank you all for listening and watching us uh, today for this interview. And again, my name is Diana Lucky. I'm a local real estate agent in the area. And of course, if you need, uh, if you're thinking about buying, it's a great it's a great time to buy uh, a house right now in the fall. Or if you're thinking about you selling your house, uh, we can prepare you for a spring listing. And with that, have a great day.